All right, welcome back to see programming skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to focus on the loop de loop program. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy this. So the loop de loop program, uh, version one, we'll do like we uh, did in the previous one where we have several versions of this. The first version won't have any prompts. It will just run straight. And we'll go write a C program that meets the following objectives. We're going to gain skills in what's called C repetition statements, sometimes called looping. As you can imagine, many times in computing, you need to do things more than once. And there are three ways inside the C language, and in fact, in most languages, that you can do that. Uh, first, this will be something called a for loop, and we'll learn how to use a for loop. This is often used when you're doing what's called a counting loop. So for example, you may want to display the command line arguments, CLI for command line arguments. Well, you know exactly how many times you're going to do it. So if you know how many times, if you have a count, then a for loop is a good way to do it. Second one we'll look at is the while statement. And this is sometimes called a sentinel controlled loop or sometimes a flag controlled loop. That is, you'll keep doing something while some condition is true. So you may do it not at all if the condition is not true or you may do it some number of times as long as the condition is true. So for example, are there CLI arguments? So if there are CLI arguments, then yep, you would do this. Uh, if not, you would skip it. And then the third one, probably the one you don't see quite as often but still useful, is do while. And this one you will always do it at least one time. So at least one time you do this one for the condition. And notice the condition is, is tested there at the end, the do while, the condition's at the end. So this would be a good example for input validation. That is, you guess a number and you keep asking the user to guess a number until they get it right. So we're going to also uh, make sure we include skills we've learned from previous lessons. So when we start up, we'll have our program name and version and developer. We'll have a uh, program start date time and ask if you want to continue. So just to give us some review from the previous ones. Now in version two, we're going to add a prompt and we'll ask you to enter a starting number, which we will say the starting number has to be from one to 10. And then we'll go have an ending number that will go from 10 to 100. Then we're going to have a for loop that counts, and we'll count starting from the starting number up to the ending number. We'll have a while loop that starts with the starting number and increments uh, up to the ending number. And then we'll do the do while, where we'll guess a number between starting and ending. And then version three, our final grand finale, we'll have where you can enter on the command line uh, a dash dash start and give the start number and a dash dash end and give the ending number. So lots of stuff here, but as always, we'll take it one step at a time, one version at a time, and uh, by the end of this, you'll have skills knowing how to do looping by, have, by having written this loop de loop program. All right, I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks for watching.